Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video and today we're going to be looking at why everyone uses Siphon Energy in PvP. I'm going to show you guys uh, kind of the benefit of Siphoned Energy. So we have the Blood Letter, the Mage Robe, the Mage Cow, and the Guardian Boots. We're running about a 4.1 and a 4. Let's say we are running an expensive Blood Letter and we do not want to Siphon Energy this Blood Letter. We don't want to overcharge it because it's an insane price. Although it's not, it's about 40k in the auction house. Not gonna, not gonna put me out of my money. But you know, it's 40k in the auction house. We don't want to risk it, right? So we go into the game settings. We're gonna go to overcharge right here, this tab at the very bottom, and we're gonna take off the main hand. So now, when I overcharge, this may, uh, this blood letter will not get overcharged with everything else. Everything else will be overcharged, and we'll get that 100 item power boost. The 100 item power boost, as you can tell. Uh, is very very helpful or people want to be using it. It's uh, 7k in the marketplace for this beautiful siphon energy And you're gonna want it every time you go out to do a hellgate or pvp Definitely if you're running below a 5.1 or worse uh, gear. So let's take a look at what it really does for us Overcharge pushes your gear magically over its limits at the risk of breaking it grants an additional 100 item power for 30 minutes but after the overcharge ends there is a 15% chance the gear will break and be permanently destroyed. The activation cost, one siphoned energy. All right, so now that I went into uh, the settings, like I said earlier, I'm gonna go back, show you guys. The overcharge settings are right here in the game settings, and I did turn off the main hand. We're gonna pop the overcharge and show you guys what happens here. The animation right there uh, does last a second, and you guys can't use abilities while it's overcharging, so you wanna make sure you pop your overcharge before you get into contact. Or when you see contact, use your overcharge. Basically, do not do it mid-fight. So right here, we're going to press I to go to our inventory. We're going to see that it gives us an overcharge time. So 29 minutes and 34 seconds. And it's going to tick, tick, tick all the way down to zero minutes. And at zero minutes, you have a 15% chance of that item completely destroying. You never get to see it again. It's going to become trash. So you want to make sure you're not risking anything you're not willing to risk because that chance does happen occasionally. And I showed you guys that I did not select my uh, main hand to go into the overcharge. Um, usually you'd want everything most likely in the overcharge, but I did not select my main hand to show you guys that that is an option in the game settings. I'm going to go ahead and change it back so I don't forget when I get into the hell gates. I'll be livid with myself if I end up losing because of it. So we got that selected back, and this is basically what we're seeing. We have a timer now, so 28 minutes. And there is a way to cancel this early. So let's say you have two minutes left on your overcharge, and you're wanting to do a Hellgate, but you can't. You have to wait that two minutes because you don't want to head back out there. And on your way to the Hellgate, your gear breaks and your overcharge stops. You're, you're unbuffed with that, you know, 100 item power. Um, so what you're going to want to do is to take this off yourself. And when you try to take it off, it'll say that removing this item will end its overcharge and the item might break. Do you want to proceed? I always like to keep this pop-up up in case it's on accident and I accidentally drag it off. So I always just say yes instead of always. And I will say yes and it comes off and we have 70% durability. So it does not break every time. Like I said, it's a 15% chance. It doesn't happen very often. And so 70% durability, I'm just going to want to make sure I repair it before I overcharge again as it will be weakened a lot, a lot, a lot more the more I overcharge. So I just got to make sure I repair it each time or we're going to be fine and be able to go back out there with another Siphon Energy. Uh, we're going to pop a ball off now, see what our odds are like. And one more. And we got them all. So none of them die and they usually actually don't trash, uh, to be honest. I feel like that 15% chance might be a little lower actually because it's unbelievable how lucky I get with these taking these uh, gear off um, but yeah I just want to show you guys uh, kind of an overcharge or a siphon energy um, tutorial a little bit today because I know a lot of you guys were asking in the Hellgate videos uh, what is that animation where um, you sparkle a little bit you know your your animation where you're sparkling your character sparkling um, or the gear sparkling or shining and that's basically the overcharge at work so that is an overcharge tutorial today, and I hope you guys appreciate uh, the little siphon energy tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.